Hi everyone! Today, this is going to be a very long video, so if you like to just see the end product, you can just go towards the end. Um, but I wanted to show you how I quickly made my engagement album. So I got one of these little binders from Target. I originally planned to use it as like a wedding planner type of binder, but instead I decided to actually make it into a mini album for the engagement photos we had taken when my boyfriend proposed. I'm using these Heidi Swap padded papers and they're really awesome because they fit perfectly into the binder. They are six by eight inches in size and they're double sided so I can use both sides. I picked out these colors because these are the ones that I like the most as well as I think they're going to be my wedding colors like pink, mint, um, and a touch of gold which is what the cover of the binder is like. It's this gold foil on top. So I'm pulling out 15 sheets of paper because I have 29 photos. So I'll really have one photo on each page. And I wanted to keep it really simple. I'm not going to embellish a lot. And I just wanted to have the thing focused on the photos for this album. Now, I wanted just one pattern each. So I actually have two of these Heidi Swap pads of paper. So I pulled out my second one, which also had a couple of patterns where it was just mint and pink. So I picked out a couple more from there. Now that that's completed, I need to punch holes in my papers. I already have a template because I've actually done a couple of these um, mini albums for myself where I use the Target binders and I've already aligned the holes, and this is my template. I'm going to skip over this part because you don't need to see me punch holes in all of them, but you could also use page protectors for yours and then you know punch holes into the page protector so that it fits into the binder. I really don't mind these being you know, exposed. They don't need to be in a page protector. I really like the tactile of the paper and the embellishments and what the final product came out to be. Now that the holes are punched, I'm just double checking that they fit in the binder and that when you close the binder, they don't stick out. Sometimes that happens. You might want to double check that when you close your binder that the papers don't actually stick out past the cover. I have done that in the past. Um, you just want to check for yourself if you're using a um, specific binder that you want to use for your album. On the left side, you'll see this um, copy sheet of paper that has some prints on it. I actually took the typewriter that my boyfriend had helped me fix up and pulled some quotes from Pinterest and things that I just thought of on my own uh, to be the little tidbits that I'm going to add to each page. So I pulled out a bunch of love quotes that I thought were cute and very applicable for us and decided to type them up on the typewriter and that's what is written on that white sheet of paper. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm keeping my album really simple. I just want to have one photo on each page and then um, add a few things to it and then call it done. I have printed most of my photos in the 4x6 size. Some of them are horizontal and some of them are going to be vertical. The ones that are horizontal, they don't necessarily fit on that sheet of 6x8 paper nicely. So if they are horizontal, I do end up cutting them to just you know focus on the main part of the picture. I do try to vary where I put the photos just to create some more interest. Um, if I put you know, this one I'm putting right in the center, but the one on the left I did put up towards the lower portion of the paper. This one I'm cutting um, off and I am centering this one as well. So it just depends on my mood and depends on what I want to do when I was adhering the photos onto the page. I knew I was going to have one side blank 
because I only had 29 photos and I had 30 sides. So I pulled out this Dear Lizzie die cut card that says, a laugh is a smile that bursts. And I thought that that was very cute and it helped fill up one of my empty pages. Whenever I do a quick project, I usually like to use the assembly line method where I do one thing at a time and all the way through. So I had decided what photos I wanted to use and I knew what order I wanted them to be in. So that's why I was able to quickly adhere each photo down on the page. And I think what's awesome about this book is that I don't really want to talk about what happened at our engagement um, or what happened when he proposed because I have actually tons of other pages where I'm going to talk about that. I just really wanted a little album that allows me to flip through all the different photos that were taken and just help me reimagine like the day or it was actually um, that half hour of when we did this photo session. I am embellishing a little bit on each of my pages and to make sure my pages were cohesive, I want to use similar embellishments. So I decided to pull out a bunch of washi tape in all the different colors that I'm using like pink, mint, and gold to put a strip of washi tape and do one on each page just to add some texture and some more color and it really helps tie everything together because every page will have a piece of washi tape. And I do continue my assembly line method where I just do the washi tape on all the pages before I move on to my next element. When I choose my washi tape, I do try to pick out different colors. If it was a pink background, I'll try to add like a mint color uh, washi tape or in this, in this instance, if it was a green colored, I'd add like a gold type of washi tape. So I want to keep it mixed up and just keep on making it very colorful. So the next part is probably what took me the longest because even though I did pick out all the quotes I wanted to use in this mini album, I didn't know which quotes I wanted to pair up with which photos. I had an idea because I picked out the quotes and I imagined them to be with specific photos and I didn't have them in order. So Right now, I will be, you know, trimming each of my quotes off of the white copy sheet of paper and using my fine line applicator to glue on these quotes to the page. And I will skip over this part because it's very simple. I use the same assembly line method and just cut off each of my quotes and pick out the one that I wanted for each photo. I'll skip to the very end to my last page where I am adhering my last quote. You don't need a typewriter, obviously, to do this. You can just print out quotes that you like on the computer and they work just the same. Now for my embellishments. I decided to pick a bunch of embellishments that match the color theme, you know, some pink, some mint, some gold, but I actually end up using a lot of those stickers and embellishments I picked up from Target during Valentine's Day. And these were perfect for my pages because they had all the pinks, of course, and a ton of gold. And it really helped my album stay cohesive and consistent since I was using products from all the same place. And it was great because I had a lot of these love-themed embellishments and I really did want to use them. I didn't want to just hang on to them. So this album was the perfect album to use all of them on. I just end up picking one or two stickers and pieces for each page. I wasn't over embellishing and I want to keep things simple. So the stickers were the perfect ones for me. This was pretty much the final step for my album to add these embellishments. I'm really happy about this final album because I've been really meaning to put this together. So the fact that I kept it simple allowed me to finish it in one day and I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoy it too.
that's my album. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day.